Welcome to Perth, Australia. I'm Valerie Jenkins and we're here for the Aussie Open and I'm going to show you what's in my bag for this tournament and for the rest of the season. Um, we'll start out with my putters. Um, right now I actually have DX AVRs. Um, they're max weight and yeah I, I had to replace my old putters so I just went into what were my backyard putters at the time and these have been working out great. Um, they're beadless so they're a little understable and that works perfect for my putting style. And so, yeah, they've been working great so far and they're easy to replace. I've had a lot of 10 time or 11 time AVRs, but these are easy to replace and I can know I can rely on them. Um, the next disc is more of an upshot disc rather than a putter, but it's perfect for windy conditions like we're gonna have this week. Um, this is a Gator, it's a champion Gator, max weight. Um, this is my disc that I'm gonna pull out if there's just an extreme howling headwind and I know that it's going to hyzer out at the end. Um, I can even play it a little wider and it'll skip right towards the basket if I want it to. Um, but this is a great disc that I can be confident that's going to go left, even in the headwind. Um, we'll move on to my upshot discs and my mid-ranges. And I have three of them right now. I'm trying to keep it a few numbers of discs as possible in my smaller bag. This is a, a San Marino. So it's a, basically a DX rock. Um, so it's been beat up and it's still handling it though. Even when I throw it out, it'll turn over just a little bit. Um, it's great for the, all those turnover shots. This is my in-between. This is just a, um, Ontario Rock DX. It's been beat up a little bit, so it'll just fly nice and flat and straight. And then my third rock I have in the bag is my stable one. It's a four-time Climo USDGC rock. Um, this thing's worth a ton on eBay. People will pay me good money for this, and I haven't lost it yet. Um, but it's my stable rock that I can know I can throw out there. It'll hang and, and give me good distance, but it'll still come back at the end. Um, Avery gave this to me a couple years back, and I still haven't lost it. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good rock. Um, we've got my fairway discs. Um, for an understable disc, I go to the Champion Roadrunner. Um, there, was, there were a few discs that came out that were understable at the time between a Sidewinder and a Roadrunner, and I choose the Roadrunner to go with. Um, I, I range from 170 to 175 grams, um, but these are just awesome discs. Right out of the bag, they can be a distance disc, but once you beat them in a little bit more, they'll flat. You throw them out flat, and they'll turn over nice for you. All right, we've got a Star T Bird. Uh, everybody needs a T-Bird in their bag. This is the, the go-to fairway disc. Um, this one, it's a 174, so it's a, you know, it's, it's a little heavy, but it goes on nice and flat for me because I've been beating it in a little while and it'll still fly out stable. But on the other hand, I have a more stable T-Bird. This is the Thunderbird, um, the Champion Thunderbird, max weight. This is my stable disc for the headwind shots. Um, I can rely on this one to come back at the end even when the head, headwinds are blowing. This is a great, great stable disc. And now we're moving on to some of my beloved Starfires. Um, not too many people throw Starfires, but they just feel great in my hand and I, I've been loving them ever since they came out. Um, this one, as you can see, still in my bag after many many in the bags that I've done but the stamp is completely worn off and I think it's 175 it's 170 grams um, star star fire it's just been so beat up that it no longer flies like a new star star fire which is extremely stable this one flies nice and flat it'll give me a little turnover but it'll just go for days um, the rim's not too big so it, it fits great in my hand and this is my reliable um, this will be my replacement for that one if it ever goes astray or ever goes out in the Aussie bush. Um, this is a stable Star Starfire. It's still fairly new, so it's, it's pretty stable out there, but um, it'll be great in the headwind, like most of these are. Now we're moving up to more of the distance drivers. Um, in my bag right now, I have a Pro Wraith, and this, it has the same slight characteristics as the Star Starfire, but 
it goes a little further. I mean, not too much, maybe 20 feet further if I can really grip it, um, but it does have a good stability. Um, so this is, you know, depending on the wind, um, I might pull this one out over my Star Star Fire just because it's a little more stable. Um, and then for my distance drivers, which I never really had in my bag until somebody said, Val, you need to start throwing a little further to compete with these girls out there. So I've added the turn to my bag and it's been a great addition. Um, they're a little testy when the winds come up, um, but I really rely on them in the wide open fields and there's not a lot of danger. I like to just throw them with a little hyzer so that they flip up and then they fly back. Um, yeah, these things go for days without a lot, of, a lot of effort. And then so when there's a little wind gust or maybe a, a lot of wind gusts, but I still need that distance, I got the champion turn in my bag. Um, this one's still 170, so it's not max weight yet. Um, so I know I can still get a good distance on it, but when it's a little windy, I know I can trust that it's gonna come back and, and stable out for me. And that's about it. Um, I'm all set for the Aussie Open and I can't wait to start playing. Hopefully these discs keep me in bounds. <laughs>